hello. I am Mel Gabriel. I'm the founder, editor, publisher, chief cook and bottle washer of Caribbean Lookbook, among other things. And today, I am with Badawi and Eta Food making pizza. Well, I'm going to try. We, we're trying because I really don't know about this need and flower thing, but here we go. Uh, Mel, you're yes. supposed to uh, Say look more. at the, the, the recipe. Did you look at the recipe? I, I had every intention to look at the recipe, but what had happened was I didn't get time now, but yeah. so we, you know, we'll, we could read. Right, right. And we'll try, and you're here, and you'll instruct me, and um, we will go in Jesus' name and see how it goes. Have you made um, pizza before from I scratch? I have never made pizza before from scratch. I have never made pizza before in life. I will buy it, in, and yeah. So the, today should be interesting, because I, um, you know, I really like pizza. I've been fiending for pizza for a while, so this is exciting. So, um, first thing we start with the zebo, so... Um, We're doing this for real? Yeah, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. So feel, free, um, feel free to ask questions. Um, the recipe calls for three cups of flour, which I have in front of you already. Of course, I feel like I'm going on to do real shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what we're doing, I just... We could look at the flour. We have flour. I, I imagine we have to add something here. What, um... Uh, two teaspoons of yeast. Right, oh, we have the yeast and we have the teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Heaping or level or? Level, but bacon and try to be as precise as possible. Right, I did home eca and when I went to Holy Faith Convent in Couver. Convent. Convent. But we, we say convent in Couver because it's by the cane field now, so it don't count. Yeah. And um, so, right, oh, just sprinkle that there. Two, you said, yeah? Two teaspoons. I too. You see, I don't forget how it is. The chemo brain too. I just can't remember things. Does Boom. That, does that really happen? No, I really. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't happened to me. <laughs> it hasn't happened to me so far. I know some people have that experience, but um, yeah. yeah. So, yo, being from Maruga, I know what it is. Come, this is this is vibes. <laughs> One teaspoon of salt. I like this, it's interactive, you know, you tell me what to do because I am a regular, regular person who don't know what the ass is going on. At so, least people can see, you know, a quote-unquote a regular person, I don't know what people mean by regular. I am a regular person. I you're not regular. I mean, you're regular, you want to be, but you're not really regular. You've been cooking. You Like, you like this shit. I, I like to cook. You know, in in theory, but to say I'm going on like experiment and do all kind of thing, not really. But I would like to know how to do things. Right. So this is nice. At this point, you wanna mix it together, mix everything together. My hand? Yes, with your hands. Okay. Right. I like to do the one finger technique. This is how I do dumpling. <laughs> thing it together, finger. one finger until it started thing together, and then. Just make left finger dumpling. You know? No right finger. Okay. No left hand dumpling. No left hand dumpling. I don't know about that left hand dumpling thing. But cow tongue, normal. Note about adding the water. I would say add it gradually and don't use one finger. Just use, use the yeah. Egg. Gradually, you say, right? Exactly. And mix while it heats. Well, yeah, How much water is this? A cup of water? This is enough water? That is enough. Uh, well, if it's not enough, then the recipe wrong, so... Oh God. Well, what if it get too clumpy and then it end up all how? We'll see how it goes. Why are you twitching in the corner there? Just... <laughs> okay. <laughs> like this or... Don't laugh now. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I hadn't this gradual way too fast. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. Keep going. Keep all going. they like real shit in your heart. Me out here looking like an ass with this flower. I hate it. <laughs> You don't like kneading flour? No, I like kneading flour, but for like dumpling and thing, I never make pizza though. I'm very anxious right now, okay? I've never done this before. Nice, I can make dumpling, kinda. Okay, well then. Dump with dumpling with more finesse. Oh, it had a finesse? Yeah. Okay. Not right now, now it's rough up, okay? So oh, okay. Get in. Get in, get in, make sure all the flour is hydrated. 
dehydrated. I am dehydrated right now, I'm just saying. I'd like some wine, but I can't. This is the problem, it's sticking to my hand. It's supposed to. I feel like um, some people in the corner, they're laughing. And they could come off the set, if there's anything, yeah? I'm just saying. I feel like it had real extra flour. You sure this recipe, right? Yeah, <laughs> I don't you know. All the flour in you. Find, if you find it feeling a little dry, we can add a little more water. I got tiny, tiny bit more yeah, water. So, so yeah, so you want to get some water or? I feel like we could get like a tiny bit more water. Actually, what you could do is add a little bit of olive oil. I was about to say, because mm -hmm. I saw it in my line of sight, because I have like these giant eyes, yeah. and I thought, oh, what about some oil? So My hand done hurting already. My hand hurting. This yeah, is yeah, what this. Yeah, you have to eat me this for eight minutes. So. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, yeah. So a little bit, a little drizzle of oil. Okay, okay. That's in. That's yeah, not and then, yeah, just get that. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, I have that kind of time. Yeah, you wanted to make. You wanted to make me say. <laughs> Listen. This is how people, this is how they get you guys. They tell you, oh, it's easy. You can make it. Regular people could do this. And probably regular people could, eh? I am a regular person. You are a regular person. Ah, it's in the middle. <laughs> Man. I feel like I'm going in the flicking gym with this. With the ass. If my mother could see me now, she's shame. She's saying, no, no. Sir, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's our boss. Was a boss. Been a boss. All right. This making sense or? You're looking real. Come together real nice. So now. It's not looking cute though. You know, start. You know, start. This eight minutes ain't gone yet? No. The eight minutes couldn't start now. So scrape. Excuse? Yeah, the eight didn't start yet. The developing. This is just bringing it together as a boss. So what you need to do now. You scrape the bowl, get all the bits and ends onto your, your uh, bowl. Right. And then transfer it onto the surface. Let's slap it down like... Slap it down. Oh god, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't slap the way I wanted it to slap. We need this at all or no? You don't need that right now. And what you're going to do now is knead that for 8 minutes. Now the 8 minutes start. Holy freaking eight minutes, Dad. Don't worry, we'll edit. <sighs> Jesus. Why didn't you even tell me what we're going on with lookbook? Not saying going on with lookbook right now because I'm doing chemotherapy and I'm tired. How has that been? Being tired or chemotherapy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both, both. <laughs> um, it's been interesting. I. Afraid to say this on camera, boy, because so many people. You see, once you once you have, once you've received a cancer diagnosis, and you begin treatment, what tends to happen, and it's human nature, people tend to tell you all the horror stories. You know, they want to share. Oh, well, my aunt thing, and this happened with my mother, and this happened, and and you just want to tell everybody, share it, because it's too much. Yeah. Um, but then when you do your own research and you figure out what the side effects are going to be, this is going to feel nice, by the way. You, yeah, pretend like you're massaging. This was like, it's like, that is massaging. This? Yeah, that is, yeah. Okay. The, 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 or the, the kneading. The kneading is like massaging, like a massaging somewhere. I'm not exactly Swedish, you know. But, um, but yeah, so I, I also have this pretty obsessive uh, personality when it comes to researching things. And I went looking, I went down a dark hole of side effects for chemo before I started, just to kind of get a sense of how I'd feel. Um, and everybody's different, of course, but based on what I read and how I feel after each treatment, kind of not as bad as I thought it would be. Like the first week, I take the time and I rest pretty intentionally because I know if I don't, I'll just keep going. But um, 
my energy picks back up and I feel all right. I'm anxious because, you know, you're doing chemo in a pandemic, so your immune system is already compromised. And then people being reckless. So I have to now be extra careful and stay inside, wear my mask, sanitize, wash my hands, all that stuff. It's not eating on the side, do you? No, yeah. Um, Seven more minutes. Seven more minutes? <laughs> Not even three minutes gone? Actually, no. You have six more minutes. Six more minutes. So, what about um, vaccination? What about being vaccinated? I am going to be vaccinated real soon because um, that, is, that is a must. The, the idea, I thought initially that I would have to wait because I didn't know how I would feel with the chemo side effects, plus, you know, feeling a little mashup from the vaccine side effects or whatever, and if my white blood cells are gonna do a thing or if they're gonna behave or whatever. And then my oncologist, one of the lovely doctors at St. James Cancer Center, he was like, Gil, we're waiting on, get vaccinated. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna do that. And then I could sit in a restaurant, have a meal. I could hug people. Well, I probably wouldn't hug people still because I still need to be real careful. <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't be as anxious being around um, my family and my friends. And yeah. Because it's smooth like a bamsi, but not everybody bamsi is smooth, no? I didn't expect to be, you know, working this hard, but. Shout out to Benny Karib for providing wonderful cotton breathable pieces. Yeah. So they already do almost fall on the ground. There's no way. <laughs> do it over. Yeah. Now you take me to pizza. Nah, we have a flower shortage. <laughs> and I know. We gotta order something. <laughs> Push it out and. Do I need to come and pat your head? Just give me a little blot there, a please, blot. darling. Just give us a blot. Just a little tap on my neck. Don't end up with no tissue on my forehead. I'm looking like an ass. Eh? Oh God, you know what My you goodness. Know. What is it? Yeah, so, so this is a side effect of chemo, guys. The hot flashes, okay? Because Jano, don't worry, we didn't get any sweat in the, in the door. Yeah. I ain't nothing about the sweat, no. Okay, it's not as difficult anymore as it was before. Is it eight minutes yet though? Because I'm getting bored. Correct. Actually, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me get a good tip. Play hands like if this. If you're as a man, you don't know how to explain caress. No, men don't explain caress. Men, men don't just caress. caress. I get a <laughs> caress it. Let me just wash my hands real quick. Okay. What are you doing this? Aye, aye, aye. What you caress, Nafi? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you speak this come around it. So, so yeah, do, um, is that kind of? Kind of cup in your hand. So, it's, yeah, you're not keeping your hand straight. You kind of cup in your hand and then the door kind of roll. Into the other hand. Into the then, other hand. Right. But what you're really doing is and using, try it now. using, using the, the thing to smooth it. All right, cupping and we pushing and we cupping and we pushing and yeah. we cupping. Uh, feel it up. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes. Pretend it's something. I'm gonna pretend it's something else. Just... <laughs> that would be a big song. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For real? Look away, kids. This is a big ball of flower <laughs> to be caressing. Of course, I will die if this thing falls off this counter. Stop saying it! <laughs> this yeah. is much smoother than it was before. It's yeah, very yeah. Nice. See? So, yeah, that's the technique. And truth be told, um, the dough should be a little more hydrated than this, but what happens is sometimes different brands of flour, the temperature of the room, and that kind of thing. Gotcha. Sometimes you had to adjust a little bit, you know, you're less or a little more depending on. 
those factors right. to give it the perfect consistency. Mm -hmm. But this is very good. This will, this is going to give it a very good pizza. Oh nice! Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to let it rise. Yes, yeah, so you're going to let it rise. It doesn't start expanding already. Yeah, it will. It'll double in size, and we're going to so about 45 minutes. In the meantime, you're going to make a pizza sauce. Oh, excitement! This is why I was waiting for. I was born for pizza sauce. Sauce boss. Yeah, hey, we've been saucy. Okay. Sauce, sauce, sauce. Ready for the sauce. Ready for the sauce. All right. So the first thing you need to do is peel the garlic. Um, there's a very simple way of peeling garlic. Um, you need that knife that is in front of you there. Right, and what you want to do is giant knife. Yeah, just use the broad side of the blade, mm -hmm. put it over the head of the garlic, and just give a smash. Right now, this bowl in front here. Put it in the bowl. Cover it tightly. Shake, shake, shake. shake. I'm shake off my face. Shake it like back and forth. Should be good. This actually works. I can see. Bitch. Alright. Well, mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's important to me and good to keep moving. I never wanted to be this oh no, I have cancer kind of person. So getting out of the house and staying as active as possible while still being mindful um, of the need to rest and all that is really important to me. So this is great. It's very easy to stay in a, a kind of dark place and feel sorry for yourself if you're facing challenges, but you have to honor your feelings, but then recognize them for what they are and then keep it pushing. Yeah. You see, this is the thing about, and I don't think it's, it's a, it's, simply a pandemic thing, right? Like, yeah, we know we're in a pandemic. We know you have to be gentle with yourself and all that good stuff, right? Because this is not normal time. Um, but I think a lot about fulfillment and feeling like you're making a difference, feeling like the work you're doing is making sense. Um, and what does that look like for you? And it boils down to really what I think it boils down to understanding what you want in life for yourself that is not necessarily tied to what you're doing, not tied to your work or, you know, um, and then doing the shadow work required to, to figure out who you are and what you really enjoy and, and then just leaning into that a little more. You'll never ever feel fulfilled if you're, if you're always chasing something. If you're always trying to get to the next level. Yeah. You, know, you just have to, you just have to do it and be yourself and, and enjoy what you do. And do meaningful work. If you feel like your work is meaningful, keep doing that. If you don't think it's meaningful, figure out why and then find something else. Yeah. You don't have time to waste out here, you know. Do the work that matters and forget the rest. Don't worry about what anybody else think and you know what people will say if you don't do it or if you if you stop now or you no know, time for that. How much oil? Just um I would say about three to four tablespoons. Yeah, we just I'm gonna eyeball it. Eyeball, okay. Yes. Tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one, two, three, four. That's all the garlic one time, just no hesitation. Mmm, that sizzle. That's when you know it. Uh, not my good, good clothes, all yeah. 
All right, well, I'll go wash it, is it? Italian seasoning first. Yes. I mean, it don't matter which one first, but yeah. How much? All, everything. All, the whole pack? Is that a whole new pack or is just... A whole new pack, yeah. Whole pack. So the whole... whole wow, pack. that's... Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then onion powder, the entire thing as well. Whole thing. Whole thing. Whole thing. Papa. The whole shebang. The whole shebang. Ugh. Let me tell you, the sense is messing with me right now. Huh? Not in a good way. <laughs> just because of... um. You know, another side effect kind of vibe. What's a side effect? The, the nausea. Mm -hmm. So different scents would activate the nausea. I'm just tucking this in here. Do I mix? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Usually, this is not the face you would make when you're making these things. Should I add a little more oil? No, no, no. OK. You want to add the tomato paste as well, the whole thing. Oh, Jesus. All right, and because yeah, it's, small, it's small. Home, home economics, add a little water to that, shake it up. <laughs> and we waste no, we waste it. Oh, God. Yeah. Don't know. About your chunky and you don't want to come out. Exactly. You thought. <laughs> <laughs> no reason. You can tell the people who used to fold on the toothpaste and it done, eh? Now, I imagine it would be salt and black pepper to taste, to right? Taste, yes, I could just use my hands. Yeah, just... use your hands. Yeah, I'm yeah. The problem with this is that I can't taste nothing. So somebody will have to taste for me because of the treatment my um taste buds. So I said, we need a professional taste tester. Mm. Sounds like a job for. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> is this black pepper or dirt? <laughs> yeah. Bob, that is black pepper. Okay, it does it, look. It's coarse. It's coarse. Okay, I mean, I don't know. It looks a little dark. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you both have, right? Yeah, so like like I mean, it's... Exactly. I'm sure it's pretty gourmet. It just look like you get in the yard now. Oh my God. Wow. Let's oh, come and geez. taste this. Remember this in Jesus' name? That little thing you take, you could taste anything with that? Yes. <laughs> more salt, more pepper, more... Less. A little bit, also. a little bit. Stir it up. Little darling. Stir it up. Come on, baby. Why don't you stir it up? So, covering it and we're going to let that go for about 20 minutes or so. So, you're doing it in this? Yeah, we're doing it in this. No, no. I, re I didn't want your recipe. I, yes, so I understand Sorry. you don't know what recipe, so you don't understand what's going on. Yeah, I'm, I'm very confused. Yeah, so basically what we're doing is we're going to cook the dough, like par cook the dough in the skillet. Right. And that'll take like one to two minutes. And then, this is cast iron, this is heavy. Yeah. Okay. But it'll work in a regular frying pan as well. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so a frying pan would work as well. Okay, so yeah. use what you have. Yeah, use what you have. How to separate this? Because <laughs> I'm like, okay. Okay, let's see. So we're going for the, the whole gourmet side is thin crust, right? Okay. So you're not going for a lot of them. I would Thin say, crust is good because I really shouldn't have too much flour. Well, very good. Um, so uh, dust the countertop a little bit. Uh, Can I? Yeah. Just a little. I think that's too much. Though. Nah, that's not too much. It's feeling right. No, for the size that we're going to roll it out, and now we roll it out thin. That's oh, yes. that too much. Though. So go with half of that. Half? Yeah, half. This, should, this amount of dough should give you like four to six pizzas. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So this is enough now? Yeah. Form it into a bowl.
It's supposed to be round, and <laughs> Yes, and, uh, uh, as round as possible. Oh dear. Flip it and get some flour on your front. See, this is where Photoshop would help because you just put a little thing there. <laughs> you know? This thing burning my eye to us. Ooh! Okay. What if I pull it? You can try stretching it with your hand. Yeah. See? Improvise. That's what I said. So is pizza within your diet? Or th of things that you can eat? Or what, what, where's the rules? Where's the... There are no rules. <laughs> there are some rules. Um, what I found through my research, empirical data, is that um, what they encourage, they being, you know, the dietitians and all that they encourage a healthy balanced diet particularly because i don't have any other i guess comorbidities um i'm not diabetic i don't have high cholesterol nothing like that so they just encourage a healthy balanced diet but a healthy balanced diet means everything in moderation right you're not gonna eat a ton of flour every day you're not gonna eat fried foods every day oily foods every day um, some things they encourage you to stay away from, like fried and oily, uh, but I think they recognize that people will go mad if they don't have the things they're accustomed to having, like if they just quit cold turkey. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's just a matter of not overdoing it. By the time you're doing treatment, you wouldn't be feeling, your appetite will be weird, your taste buds will be weird. Is this thin enough? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, you don't have to the size of the pan to it, so... Yeah. Yes. I was stretching. Um, you know, so you probably wouldn't even feel to eat certain things anyway. Right. But when you do feel to eat certain things, the aim is to not overdo it and go crazy. There's this myth about sugar and cancer. Um, but sugar, even if you don't have cancer, sugar is still... Like, too much sugar is still a problem. Oh, you know, yeah. um, too much salt is a problem, too much alcohol, too much this. Yeah. The only rule I've seen so far that is like steadfast, no alcohol. Okay. So. Oh, have you been managing that? I mean, I'm not an alcoholic. Yeah, but I know you like to uh, yeah. drink. I, know you I like mean, I like, I like a little, you know, a little nightcap. Yeah. Or five, yeah. but I just feel yeah, like. I'm like if you never lying, like I never hear yeah. You yeah. see, I just didn't know your example of my whole business in the streets like that now, mate. Yeah, half your business, half your business. My focus right now is, is less on alcohol and more on survival. I just want to live. Yeah. I want to be done with treatment, and then I'll have a glass of wine. Very good. Or a gin and tonic, because that's my drink. No, please. I love a gin and tonic. Yeah, me too. No, it's into the pan. I feel like I can do shit. So that's like raise it and place yeah. it gently. Like you're making a roti bake, like yeah, a sada. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait for it tinging up, it's tinging up. Okay. Yeah, push it out with your hand, man. With my hand in this hot yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I must get burned and dead. Nah, you ain't good there, man. It's tinging up on the side. How oh, you just do that? <laughs> it's bubbling. That's like what people it's mean good. when your roti swell? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't afraid to touch it, don't afraid to touch it. Don't afraid to touch it, 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 it. To touch it. this thing hot. Turn, turn it wrong, keep turning, you don't want it to stick, turn it, turn it. Uh, it's sticky, I can't, oh, sticky. how? Hold on, hold on. I can't. <laughs> but turn it. I need that thing. My good, good hand in this thing. Into here. Turn it around. Trouble is this. Alright, and now let's cook on the next side, one time. Oh, flip it. Yeah, flip it. Bro, you didn't tell me all that. I know, I should have the recipe. Is it supposed to be so black? Nice flavor, man. But. Alright, and turn off the stove now. Because you're packed, look at the top. Right. Alright. So, a thin layer of sauce. Let me say thin, Mike. Two spoons is all you need. You don't need more than that. Two tablespoons? Two tablespoons. I'm just trying to. I would even say one, but two. Heaping? 
If it's heaping, I think one will work. You can add like half a tablespoon again. Yeah. That's good. You don't even want to. And we're spreading it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All over. So these are like a thin layer. Yeah, it's a very thin layer. So this. If I had to make pizza at home, I wouldn't even think to use mozzarella, like shredded mozzarella. I'd just like have yeah, some cheddar in the fridge, you yeah, agree? That's yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah. But mozzarella is the Mozzarella is the You want that nice string cheese, you know? Yeah. If you're going to the whole, you know, whole style. So is it that you don't want to see the bottom or it's preference again? You don't have to, it's, it's, you don't have to put a lot of cheese on either. Okay, you're, not, you're, not, you're not gonna you know, drum it in cheese. Uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I like cheese though, so well, how? There's your, there's your party, you know. So what we gonna do? Yeah, you do your thing, man. This, this, this is all you right now. All right. Pepperoni. You see? I'm OCD, right? So even this layout is gonna get, be a problem. Cause it needs to be a certain way for me. A little balance. Ooh. And of course the PS de resistance must have Y'all could judge, or they could say what they want. Yo, this is fresh pineapple. This is like a pineapple pineapple. Fresh it's not from the can. No, 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 can business, doggy. I went on the road and buy that pineapple. Mm -hmm. like, Young man who does make markets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you does know them. Mm -hmm. Didn't drizzle in the way I wanted to drizzle, but all right. This way into the oven, right under the broiler. For, I would say no long, no long, no more than four minutes, three to four minutes. Wow. Yeah. That's quick. Quick thing. Cut it the oven on full one. It's like 500 degrees now. Oh my God. Yeah. So. But you were like preheating this. Yeah. So it's pre, yeah, preheating 500 degrees right under the broiler. And yeah, boom. Oh. Oh. Ow. Put it on top here. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Slide it off the thing. Yeah. Boom! Maybe catch up. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I just feel like unnecessary now. Eh? I'll try basil on the pizza. I don't try basil, nothing. Like, what is. <laughs> Yay! Pizza! I'm very excited about this pizza. Hmm. I respect for your mother. Make sure it's here. That slap she this pizza so good. You get on here. You get on. This recipe bad. No, you get on. No, I, well, we know I get on, but yeah, yeah. I get on off of your strength too. I really want to talk some more, but I'm just going on. Uh, mm. Right? Well done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Made it myself. You know. Did you? It's a regular, regular girl in the kitchen making pizza, gourmet at that. Well done. You know, if I can do it, <laughs> anyone can. <laughs> nah, seriously, if I could do it, all I could do it. Really it's good, right? Good job. Mm -hmm. So this was amazing. I made gourmet pizza using the recipe from Badawi. I don't really like to make anything that requires too much effort. Um, I have to be in the mood, really, to be honest. Um, what I like about this, particularly for me, and it, you know, I need to say it because we're in the month of October and it's Breast Cancer Awareness 
and we're all about health and, and wealth and early detection. So that's important. Making this pizza, because it has a thin crust, is what made me show up today. Because I want pizza and I want to have that flavorful kind of meal. Um, it was so easy to make and the crust is really thin, so I don't feel like I'm overdoing it with the flour. So that's always good. And I'm gonna make some more and eat more in moderation, whatever. But I'm just gonna eat plenty. And I'll add more cheese and meat on mine. But yeah, thanks so much Eat a Food and Badawi for having me. This is lovely. Peace out. Y'all, check yourselves, feel up yourselves, ladies, especially once a month. If it helps, feel them on the first, and then you'll know if your body feels different and you could save your own life. Take care, guys. Bye.